Tonight, there's something that's driving me to the edge of insanity, makes blood shoot right out of my eyes, and that is California. California uh, today, they, um, they voted against offshore drilling. Not on their land or their shore, no. They also, last week, voted to erase admission standards because it's too smoggy there and they care about the trees. Also, uh, in the stimulus we found out today, it appears as though Hollywood can get a, uh, a bailout from you and me because nobody's going to see their movies. Ah. You'd think that maybe they should just make better movies and then we'd all go. But no, no, let's bail them out. The Civil War taught us that, apparently, U.S. states can't secede from the Union. I'd like to test that one again maybe sometime. But uh, what I'd like to know is if the Union has the right to kick out states. Because if so, I'd like to take a flag, a star right out of our flag, and California is the first to go on my list. From eco-warriors running, uh, running the state and ruining it, to Hollywood projecting their family values and politics on the U.S. and illegal immigration driving them into bankruptcy, the Golden State drives me out of my mind, and I don't think I'm alone. Jack Cashel is the author of What is the Matter with California? Jack, what is the matter Glenn, with California? Uh, you know, when you ask Californians that, Glenn, you get two responses. One is, how much time do you have? And two, where do I begin? It's, uh, it's, un it's ironic that it is this way, too, because it's the most glorious chunk of real estate on the planet. You know, you'd think it would be prosperous. I, you know not. what? I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, and I always loved California. I always want to live in California. I love San Diego. I, I tell you, California, you're surrounded by crazy people. What are you doing? It's, uh, I mean, everything that they seem to be doing, Jack, seems to be kicking themselves and tripping themselves and making things worse. You know, I think what we've learned, Glenn, is that wackiness has consequences. You know, we used to think it was kind of charming that they were so quirky and weird yeah. and silly. But a after a while, when wackos reach critical mass, mm -hmm. they pull the whole place down. And they've infiltrated not only both legislatures, but uh, the bureaucracies. Like in Missouri, you know, they, you have good old boys running the fish and game department. In California, you have echo warriors. So every wheel rut at a, a development turns into a navigable waterway or a wild, you know, a a uh, wildlife area. Is there? And is, it slows everything down. Is there know? a way? Hang on just a second. Uh, Aaron, you want some cake? We're just. There you go. You want some cake? <laughs> right, we're just. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> While we're at it, Oscar, do you like Washington, D.C.? <laughs> just cutting Washington, D.C. out there. Boop, ba -doo. You could stand to lose a few LBs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm one to talk. The guy with the jar of M&Ms here. Okay, so anyway, um, Jack, we were talking about California. Really, uh, is there any way to get this state under control? Is there any way? Because now they're asking us for, I think it's, what is it, a $47 billion bailout? And quite honestly, no offense, California, but beat it, deadbeat. Uh, you know, I don't know, Glenn. I think it is too far gone. You know, it wasn't that long ago, uh, like in the in the 60s, when it passed New York State in population. They had the best schools, the best colleges, the best highways, the best roads, the best uh, water power in the country. And now they're on the bottom of all those things. They're barely beating Mississippi in test scores. It, it just, I, I, it's a classic case of like, of liberal policies enacted and gone wild, you know? I just ate Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like garbage. <laughs> Jack, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're going to be watching uh, California of the next couple of weeks because I tell you, some of these states that have just dogpiled and spent like there's no tomorrow and are not willing to really make the hard cuts now and continue to make the wrong decisions, I don't know why we and the rest of the country have to pay for that. You, you made your bed. Why, why does, uh, you know... Why does Arizona, why does uh, Idaho, why does anybody else have to pay for your mistakes? Thanks a lot, Jack. Now, Meet the People is next, plus help spread the word on one of the biggest dangers facing this country.